Hey all, uh, we'll see how to register node in WebSphere in this class. Register node is uh, used in a situation where uh, there are multiple profiles configure, configured in one system. We can refer a node as profile as well and we have seen different kind of profiles existing in previous sessions. So uh, register node helps to register standalone node to an administrative agent. It's like a deployment manager profile uh, will have administrative agent. So let us see uh, how to uh, register. Say in this system I'm having two profiles, a deployment manager and application server profile. So uh, we can register these two profiles and uh, we can manage uh, using one admin console. So we can uh, register using the command uh, register node. Let us see uh, the syntax. This is the basic uh, syntax. Uh, register node is the command, and uh, we have to give the profile path, uh, path of the profile uh, which we want to register, and we have to give the host name in which profile is configured. In other words, uh, we can give the name of the host where node is configured and we have to give the connection type at which it is configured and we can give the so port number at which it is configured if you have security settings uh, you need to give a username and passwords this is uh, the common uh, this is the basic command i'm using so register node profile path host name uh, so i have to give host name of DMGR where uh, I mean hostname in which DMGR is configured a DMGR is nothing but deployment manager and the connection type it is used and the so port number and the deployment manager profile name so I have already created a command uh, using these values so let me show the profile path so this is the profile path uh, where it is configured okay it is at server 01 okay let me edit it it is not current and hostname would be common as i said all profiles are configured in only one system connection type uh, let us see the connection type profiles logs about this profile So the connection type is SOAP and so I'm using the connection type as SOAP and the SOAP port number, let us see the SOAP port number, SOAP port number configured is 8877 and the profile name of deployment manager is, yeah, it is admin agent 01. With this command uh, we can uh, register node and uh, before registering node uh, let us uh, open management consoles of two profiles and after registering uh, we'll see the difference later and the admin console port uh, for this profile is 9060 so let us open and see
it is a deployment manager admin console so this is how it looks like uh, before uh, federating or else before registering so let us see uh, the other profile it is the application server profile logs let us see admin console port number admin console port it is configured in 9062 This is how it looks like the admin console for application server profile. So let me log out. So before registering, uh, we need to stop the application server profile. I mean, we are federating, we are uh, registering application server profile to deployment manager. So we need to stop the application server profile. Uh, let me stop it. is application server profile I'm going to spin so I'm going to stop it So here the point important point is we need to stop the mode which we register and we need to and we, we need to run the command from deployment manager. So I have stopped the profile. So let us run the command from deployment manager. Yes, I just <clears throat> I have just verified the command and it is corrupt. So let us navigate to deployment manager uh, bin folder profiles this is a deployment manager profile root path and this is bin yeah i'm already in that folder in this console <coughs> so i can use a command here Let us execute it. Yes. So, application server profile is successfully registered with deployment manager. So, let us uh, restart the service once uh, so that the changes will take completely. It is successfully registered.
let it stop now let us start it so yeah since we have stopped the server before registering let us start the application server profile So to start application server profile, uh, we use server1 as uh, the server, the default server configured uh, with the name server1. admin agent is still starting The application server is started. Yeah. So our deployment manager. Yeah. Even the deployment manager is started. So let us open admin console and see the difference. So as we have checked earlier. Let me close, close the files to avoid confusion. So this is the deployment manager logs path and uh, we will get configuration details in this file. So I am taking admin console port number from this logs. So let us refresh the, refresh the page. 9060 slash admin it is a syntax uh, to access admin console since we are accessing for the first time after registering it is taking a little long time uh, to refresh the page or to open the page yeah it is open now now you can see the difference it is where we have got this drop down so once you click on that you will see the two nodes here so these are the nodes of nodes node names of deployment manager and application server profile so you can uh, similarly you can register multiple profiles um, in other words you can register multiple nodes and you can manage using a one admin console so let us go to deployment manager admin console yeah. i don't have any authentication so i can log in without giving credentials yeah, this is deployment deployment manager admin console. You can log out and if you want to go to application server profile, you can select its node and you can you can manage application server profile using the same uh, console. Uh, earlier, we used to access uh, using a separate port number if you want to access application server profile. Say if you want to access this profile. Earlier uh, we have used different port number, but now uh, we do not need to use this port number separately to access. But after registering, this admin console uh, will get uh, deactivated. Let us see the results.
yeah now you cannot open admin console using its port admin console it administrative port i mean administrative console port so it will get deactivated so like this you can register multiple nodes and you can manage using one admin console in the next class we will see how to federate a node if you have any questions uh, you can note them down below if you want to learn websphere application server administration course you can subscribe to this channel uh, so that you can get more videos in near future thank you for watching this video bye bye